Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equation? We have x squared minus y squared equals to 9, and we have xy equals to 20. So let's divide this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Here we are interested in finding the value of x plus y. Now, from the equation 1, we have x squared minus y squared equals to 9. From here, let's square both sides of this equation 1. So, square this side. Also, we square this side. Then the expansion here follows x square, then square, then plus y square, square, then minus 2 times x square, then times y square. So that is the expansion there, which is equal to 81 on this side. Then from here, when we you know simplify further, this power multiplies, and this gives us x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4, then minus 2x square, y square from here which is equals to 81 and uh, this power as well is uh, we have power of 2 we can take it out and we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 2 into bracket x y all square now equals to 81 from here then from equation 2 we have x y to be equals to 20 so we can now put x y to be equal to 20 from equation 2 here. Then this becomes x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 2 times 20 squared, which is equal to 81 from here. And 20 squared is 20 times 20, which is 400. And 400 times 2 here will be 800. So we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 800 equals to 81. Then let's take minus 800 here, become plus. So we now have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 equals to 881 from here. So let's keep this. And uh, also, the next step, we want to find x squared plus y squared. Then from this identity, that is, when we have x squared plus y squared, or square, let's open this. From here, this will give us x squared, then square plus y squared, square, then plus 2 times x squared, times y squared. So that's the expansion for this. Then now we can see that x squared plus y square all square now will then be equals to this power multiplies we have x raised to power 4 plus also here we have y raised to power 4 then we have plus 2 into bracket xy or raised to power 2 to take this power of 2 out. Then when we make some substitution here, we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4, that's 881, so we write this as 881, then plus 2 times xy from equation 2, that's 20, then square. So that means we have x square plus y square, all square to be equal to that, and uh, which will give us x square plus y square or square will then be equal to this is 400 then times 2 that's 800 so 800 plus 881 that will give us 1681 then from here we can take the square root on both sides so as to cancel the square here square root we cancel square then we are left with 
x square plus y square on this side, which is now equals to plus or minus 41. Now, to get x plus y now, also we expand on this identity x plus y all squared. So this expansion will give us x square plus y square plus 2xy. Then when we make the substitution here from here, we have x square plus y square to be plus or minus 41 and xy from equation 2 to be 20. So this x plus y all square now will then be equals to we have plus or minus 41 then we have plus 2 times 20 which will be 40 years so we now have x plus y all square so here we have x plus y all square will then be equals to 40 plus or minus 41 so we have plus or minus 41 here so well, we can say this is 40 this was then plus or minus 41 from here then that means here we have going to have two cases the first one we have x plus y all square to be equals to 40 plus 41 which is going to give us 81 and the second case we have x plus y all square to be 40 minus 41 which will be minus 1 from there then here we can take the square roots on both sides here to get the value of x plus y so square we cancel square roots here we have x plus y now to be equals to plus or minus 9 so we have x plus y to be plus or minus 9 here yeah. then similarly here yeah, let's take the square root on both sides then square cancel square root here we have x plus y we then be equals to square root of minus 1 is i so these are the solution we have here this side we have a complex you know solution so therefore we have x plus y to be equals to 9 or x plus y to be equals to minus 9 or we have x plus y to be equals to i so we have this you know values for x plus y in this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give it thumbs up see you in the next class then bye for now